Greetings folks, I now have the little Strix Nano Goblin on iNav using uh, Matec F411 WSE board which fits in there perfectly. There we go, little RX6R receiver in there, antennas coming up there. Uh, I have a Foxier Cat 2 camera in the nose, fits absolutely perfectly. Uh, I'm running it on 18650s with an XT30 just to save a bit of weight there. Cheapo video transmitter, just a, a TS8 uh, 32L 200 milliwatt little lollipop antenna there. Uh, all up weight at the moment is just uh, 260 grams, just 10 grams over the 250 limit. If that is of any interest to you, I could easily get a... Uh, lighter video transmitter save a bit of weight uh, here and there to bring it below 250 if i wanted to but it really doesn't doesn't uh, doesn't bother me it's not a problem for me uh flying really nicely on inav now so let's uh, connect it up and i'll show you my pids it did take a little bit of sorting out you really have to dial down the throws uh, a lot i have already uh, drilled another hole right down in there to put the uh, push rod on to reduce the throws as much as possible. Let's plug him in. Ports, uh, we have GPS on UART1, serial on UART2, smart port on soft serial 2, calibration mixer, uh, I've reduced the mixer weights down a fair bit from 50 right down to 40 for roll and 20 for pitch. Uh, particularly uh, sensitive on pitch. You really can't have too much pitch at all. Otherwise, um, you end up wobbling up and down. And if you try and sort of do a loop, well, you can't really do a loop with these goblins, I don't think. You just end up in this hyper stall situation where it goes up and stalls and wobbles around and... Uh, you can't go up and down very effectively so you need very very uh, small throws on your pitch i had to reverse uh, servo three to get it going in the correct direction uh, about four degrees of pitch plus pitch uh, i've got a btn bn 220t uh, gps under the wing there here are my PIDs. We've got roll 5, 7 and 30 feed forward and pitch 5, 7 and 90 feed forward. Nothing on your, that uh, is irrelevant. Got a wicked roll rate. I've got 290 for that and pitch of 120. And I've got arm, angle, alt hold, position hold, uh, return to home, waypoint if I want to do a waypoint mission, manual, launch mode. Launch mode works pretty well with this one. Auto trim and auto tune and a couple of uh, alternative OSDs and uh, that's about it so let's go out and see how it works on INAV that works nicely Manual mode. bit of wind, bit of a thermal activity so it is up and down a bit what are we in manual? let's try acro Lovely day for it. Look at those lovely clouds. That's going okay though. I was, uh, I have tried this before and I found when you give excessive uh, up elevator, it goes into these little hyper stalls. Uh, it's not doing it so much now, but uh, haven't got enough authority to do a loop, but that's the way you need to fly it. Really gentle on the elevator, really small elevator throws. Do whatever you want on the ailerons. <laughs> this is a cool little rig. Got a 2S uh, 18650 in there. It's pulling under 3 amps. Cruise around for ages. Wants to uh, lift up for some reason. Wind's knocking it around. I suppose it's so light, uh, any sort of wind is going to upset it. Altitude hold. Altitude hold. Return 
to turn to launch. Yeah, it's all working well. Just go flying. Birds down below. Too much wind for it now probably, but uh, still doing all right. There's my tunes. All right, let's bring it in. That's working well, I can work with that. Hard to get this thing down, just wants to glide on. Ah, oh, very good, that works well. <laughs> 